Hey guys, it's Coop from Garage Gym Reviews. And because I always come through for my friends, because I'm a man of my word, because you won't stop freaking messaging me, making comments, today we're gonna do a drop test. No, we're not gonna drop it on the $5,000 Coop Squat. No, we're not gonna drop it on the $2,000 Rep PR 5000. We're gonna drop it on the almighty $250 Amazon Pro Gear Power Rack. First things first, we gotta get the rack out. We're gonna put it outside because I don't wanna drop the weight and hurt my foundation more than it probably already is hurt. You know it's a light rack when you can carry it out yourself. Well, it survived drop test number one, as did Coop. This track doubles as a sled. Just getting ready to drop 800 pounds on a $250 squat rack, no big deal, neighbor. Okay, we've already done a complete review on this. If you'd like to see it, I'll put a link below the like button so you can check it out. But just to give you kind of a, an overview of the rack, this is probably, no, I think it is. This is one of the most popular squat racks on Amazon, mainly because it's the cheapest power rack on Amazon. A power rack is technically any rack that's got four uprights, so you can lift inside of it. This one is 250 bucks. As you can see, it's not super tall. It's got a short base. It's got <laughs> little tubes. These are 14 gauge or so. However, you're not buying this because it's heavy duty. Even though they say it's a 800 pound capacity, you're not buying it because it's got the beefiest, biggest, sexiest J-Cups in the world. I wanna show you that you don't have to have an expensive rack to feel safe. Honestly, I don't know what's gonna happen. You may feel very unsafe after we do this video. We will find out. I have never done this on this rack. I've done it on very expensive racks with very heavy weight, and they've held up, but I've never done it on a $250 squat rack. So, let's go get the weight. Out of all the bumper plates I have, which is most of them on the market, I decided we needed to use the best because we have to have calibrated weight for this. So we are gonna be using the Aleco Sweden IWF Olympic weightlifting plates that honestly, one of those costs more than that entire rack. That is ridiculous. I need to contemplate my life choices. Okay, you're gonna die, squat rack. This is just like impending doom for this bad boy. I'm so nervous for this guy. Gotta get this lined up perfectly for the gram. Oh, I do know that this rack, at least the J-Cups, should hold this amount of weight. We put 800 on them, right, Sam? Was that 800, somewhere around there? Yeah, a little over eight. Little, ra little over eight on those J-Cups, which, again, I just wanna show you how cute these are. Cause this is the last time you'll probably see them. Look at those. Ah. You're gonna die, Jacob. Okay. All right, now we need to get the barbell. Okay, we are at the barbell wall. It is time to decide what bar to use. We could go with the Rogo Heil Power Bar stainless steel, just a, a good general power bar. We could go a little bit lower level like a Texas, oh, that just hurt some people's feelings. No, we could use a budget-friendly bar. We could use an Aleco. That you could buy basically six or seven of those racks for one Aleco. But no, I know what rack we're gonna use. True fans of GGR will know exactly which bar I'm going to. If you know what bar I'm gonna use, put it in the comments before I get it. Yes, you thought I didn't have it anymore. This is, the Titan Atlas bar. And no, those are not your eyes that are deceiving you. This one is already bent because we dropped 800 pounds with it last time. It is still kicking. It should work just fine. And what I'm hoping will happen is this drop will make it straight again. That is a beautiful thing. We have an issue though. We've had to overcome this before. We can do it again, this lip. Getting over this lip with this amount of weight will be nearly impossible. So I do have an idea. We're gonna get some stall mats. Stall mats are good for everything. We'll put them on here. I think that should help. Let's do it. Okay, so what I'm thinking is we will do a couple sections of these on top of one another. That didn't give me any confidence. Okay. Oh, 
I think that's going to be fine. I think that'll do it. For anybody else wanting to try this at home, don't, first of all. Second of all, if you were going to, this is how you would do it. Now, let's throw the bar on. There is GoPro recording. Okay, we're back. My neighbor, Hank Hill, decided he was gonna mow his lawn right as we decided to set this up. So, uh, thanks Hank, but uh, he had to go get some propane for his grill. So we're just gonna do a dry run here, no weight, just 45 pound bar. Let's do it. Okay, that's pretty much what's gonna happen but uh, compound it greatly. All right, let's put the weight on and actually do it. That one's sliding. This one's sliding. Yep. They're all sliding. I need you to bend down while holding the camera and holding the weight and grab that collar that just happens to be set right behind you. Or you could kick it to me. Make sure the camera's still on me, Sam. Right, That's most important. Not your life. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> all right. Seriously. All right. Got it? Yeah. All right. We just happen to have the crappiest collars known to man, which are a knockoff of the Rogue Oso collars. Why does a man who owns literally every single collar only have these at his garage? I don't know. Yes. 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 Oh. All right. 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, 300, 320 is basically what we're looking at. Which is 320 times 2.2 equals, hold on, let me do some mental math while I'm checking my phone. 704 pounds. I don't even know what to say. This is just a good, this should be a, a national holiday. This drop should be. All right, let's do it. drop it the moment we've all been waiting for 700 plus pound drop on the 250 fifty dollar amazon squat rack we're going to do this like we always do it scientifically and with a lot of protection okay all fedex drivers going by uh he's probably got a delivery yep act normal hold on to your butts three two one You gotta take them off. Use some other than rubber. Rubber never works. Okay, 700 plus pounds, $250 rack. We're super protected. Let's get it on. Hold on to your butts. Let's go. Three, two, one. That's a nice collar. If you could just hold it up for a minute, I could get under it more. All right, yeah. can't do that. There's no way. Okay. All right, for the third, and Lord, please, for the final time, I present to you the 700 plus pound bar, the $250 squat rack. Do I need to do the let's do it thing? Yeah. It's part of it. Let's get it on. Three, two, one.
dude, that was way less dramatic than I thought. That's incredible. I'm not kidding. That's a $250 squat rack with a 700 pound bar launched from shoulder height. I'm, I'm, I'm flabbergasted. Honestly, I thought this was gonna, I thought this was gonna eat and die. Look at it. All right, come on in. Let's check out the bar. This collar is the world's strongest collar. I was ripping on these things. We just happen to have the crappiest collars known to man, which are a knockoff of the Rogue Oso collars. Listen, I'll put a link down below the like button so you can check these out. <laughs> I don't even know where these are from. These are probably from Amazon or something. I cannot believe this collar is still holding. This is remarkable, remarkable. All right, I'm gonna, I don't know. I don't know, is this smart? Yeah, that's pretty smart. All right, so I'm gonna let one go. I guarantee you there's gonna be comments like, this dude's doing it with the Leco plates. Send some my way. Okay, I'm gonna do this one. Just stand back. Okay, the bar. If you want a DIY duffalo bar and don't wanna pay for one, just do that. Cause this, this actually feels rather comfortable. And the arc on that. See ya. All right, this is real. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get this out. Okay, there we go. Pretty straight. Gosh dang it, dude. Look at that. Yeah. That's how much it bent though. I'm, I am blown away. This one, because that took the first impact, we'll check on the action cams. Send it to the action cam. We'll check the action cams. I think they're gonna be pretty straight. That's, you know, it's bent, but it's not as bent as the other one. This is the other benefit. You can just walk off with it. All right, see you guys. I'm gonna go, go back, back to my house. See you later. The verdict is in. You don't need an 11 gauge squat rack, three by three uprights. It's nice. I've got a lot of them. I prefer them. It's what I recommend. But understand, you can get just as strong Maybe not just as safe, but pretty darn safe using a $200, $250 squat rack from Amazon. We're gonna clean all this. Actually, Sam, you wanna clean all this crap up? We'll see you later. This is Coop from Garage Interviews. See you next time. Peace.